No, that's a million dollar question, isn't it? She just seems a bit jumpy. They are trainers. Was it for the Maxes? Right, we'll go shifting them, because someone's going to fall over them. Uh, how is that my job exactly? Because I'm washing up. She does, though, doesn't she? Seem a bit. Mm. Oh, she needs to get over it. I mean, Callum's buried. And this time it's not in our annex. I'm close. Everybody thinks Tony did it. So thank you, Tony, for dying. How convenient was that? David! What? Babe, things aren't what they used to be. You all right, love? Yeah, I just keep thinking I see Billy. Um, what's all this here? I just put some pictures together. I was just making a scrapbook for Harry. Oh. Oh. Well, you can't use that one of me. I look a bit brazen. And, um, and who? Left those trainers there. Somebody's going to break their neck on them. Do you die if you break your neck? Um, well, I, I think you do. Well, you can do. In fact, there was a girl at our school who broke her neck on a dry ski slope and she survived. It's confusing, isn't it? They're doing a Sunday lunch at the pub today. A special offer. Three courses, 12 quid. Mm, right, bargain. Let's go take the kids. Have a proper Sunday day out like normal people. OK, nice one. You don't have to worry about breaking your neck now, love. I can move the trainers. But do they live? Do they die? Sometimes you just don't know. Shouldn't you be at church, Father? Mm. Mm. Vickers get a day off now and again. On a Sunday, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, Todd. Yeah? I think you should know um, I'm back together with Sean. Well, I did wonder why he was sitting in my house. Thought me luck was in, huh? Yeah, well, it was a daft thing to do in the first place. What was? Splitting up with him. Well, he's adorable, isn't he, eh? Yeah, well, that's, that's part of the reason I've not gone in. I've, I've taken some time off. I don't think I've been thinking too straight recently. I need to get my head together. Hmm. We've got to look out for number one. Morning! Hey, I had that dream again last night when me and you were in velvet. Will Young was trying to gag in. I gave him short shrift. Can't believe you've got a Sunday off. Hey, Todd, can you believe he's got a Sunday off? Yeah, I just can't believe it. Which means I'm going to make the most of you, baby, every last inch of you. Oh, hang on. What? I'm supposed to be working this after. I could pull a sickie. Well, but you're not sick. I am lovesick for you. No, 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 go in. You, uh, you can pull pints and I will prop up the bar all day reading your tidbits of gossip from the tabloids. Ooh, I love it when you talk dirty. Mm -hmm. Kissy poo. Mm. Morning. Where are you off to? Looks like working a shift. Nothing else to do with work. Have you heard from Jordan? Text. What text you back? I go clear some tables. Mm. So I was scared off Jordan then. Well, you know, young people soon blow over. I guess that, as he says, he's not eight, is he? He's 28. Yes, yeah, so uh, stop fretting then. Oh. Hiya. Oh, yeah. I got you something. Sorry? Oh, I have no idea what it is, but she's been gagging to give it to you all morning. Oh. You're gonna love it. I hope you're gonna love it. No, you are. You're going to love it. <laughs> oh, go on, open it. Put us out of misery and I'll get the last aid in. I don't understand. <gasps> oh, Kaz. Is it the right one? Yeah, it is. How did you even remember? I'm like an elephant. How did you find this is so rare? Never you mind. Oh, Liam is going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> in your own time. Thanks, son. Can't make my mind up. Yeah, I believe I can see that. I'm having a duvet day today. Me, bottle of pot, massive bag of sweets, and a DVD. Oh, sounds lovely. Ask me what DVD I'm watching. Ah, now that would infer I was interested. Go on, ask me. Oh, what DVD are you watching? Dirty Grandpa. Oh. About the grandpa, who's dirty. Have you seen it? 
you know, I can't say I have. Oh, it's such a sweet <coughs> film. And I love anything with Thingy in it. And it's a lot funnier than that one he did in the taxi. You know, I can't wait to see it. Mm, uh, bet you can. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just knocking up for our duvet day. Oh, I just saw on the calendar. What? She's going over uni today at the bistro. Mm, can't be bothered. You sure that's all it is? Uh, you know, for once, I'm on Beth's side. Cheers, on. Oh, these school reunions are a nightmare. Infidelities over the fruit punch and petty jealousies over the petty fours. And it stands to reason, if you hated someone all those years ago, you're certainly going to hate them now. Mm. In my case, it was Lindsay. She's dead snooty. Always looked down her nose at me. Oh. Me, of all people. It's mad, isn't it? Well, <laughs> no one looks down the nose at my missus. Right, that's it. You are going. And I am coming with you. Oh, cheers, babe. Won't be needing these now, Morris. Mm. Right, OK, two teas, one coffee to go. Two coffees, one tea. Was it? Oh, you're as bad as me today. Well, join the club. I was uh, sorry to hear about your Izzy. Well, I know she's not your Izzy, but... Mm, it's shocking, isn't it? Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. She's back home now, though. Um, yeah, she's on bail. She's just waiting sentencing. Oh, is it? Sounds like me. Everything I touch is bound to mess up. Hey? Yeah. Do you know what? Can we sort this order out, Lauren? Really? I've got to get out of here. Yes, uh, just one moment. Uh, sure, mm. okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just go and see. Ah, oh, that's a tea. You right there, Sarah? Yeah, um, this is uh, Billy's brother. You are, aren't you? You are Billy's brother. You're not like saying that. And... No, no, no. Yeah, of course yeah, I am. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just, um. Look. There, look. That's us when we were kids. I was taking a bullet. Why? Um, cos I, uh, I want to see him. I really, I need to see him. Do you know where he is? You know what? It's your lucky day. He's just on his way over to mine. Do you want me to take you? Um. Okay. Yeah, I think. It's literally round the corner. Come on. See anyone you know? No, not yet. Blimey, it's a bit posh. Oh, grab one, Kirky. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, someone's ordered these. Oh, sorry. Well, if it isn't the best kisser in year nine. No! Yes. <laughs> hey, hands off. <laughs> he was always like that, even with the teachers. <laughs> so, is this the luckiest man on earth? Yeah, that's my Kirky. Kirky, this is Tom. We dated briefly before GCSEs. Just don't ask what we got up to in the long grass around the back of the PE block, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lindsay the Louse here. Do you remember her? Oh, really fancied herself. Biggest show I've ever... Nobody liked her. If you had her date, she had a brain tumour. She is here, because... <laughs> well, she better not come within five metres of me or she'll be wearing an optic. <laughs> I've just got to get this. Right, bye. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Yeah, it looks ace. I aim to please. See ya. See ya. Now I have my spacious summer house, I'm going to go off to the garden centre and treat myself to a new plant. Hey, you should see our new shed, Yasmin. Again? The anticipation's almost killing me. Almost. It looks better than it did last time. Uh, how on earth will I stop myself gazing out of my back window? Hmm? She's just jealous. And I'm sorry to make it all about me. Oh. You're worrying about Izzy. Nah, forget it. And listen, if I had a penny for every time I got things wrong with how Gary was growing up, I'd be a millionaire. Huh. Bringing kids up, it can be a minefield. Yeah. But you're Alex, he's a lovely lad. You should be very proud of everything you've done for him. Yeah, but I've got to remember, haven't I? He's not a kid, he's 28. Still, it's kind of you to say that. No, not really. Just being truthful. Oh. You've got to be firm but fair. Excuse me. Lindsay, long time no see. Oh my giddy hunt, what a sight for sore eyes. You never change, do you, Bess? Bess, this is me better half, Kirk. 
with a cake. Better half. So apt. <laughs> Just my joke. Just my joke. Ah, are you on your own, love? Single. Oh, would no one have you? On the contrary, Beth. On the contrary. Let's just say I had my own little reunion a while back. Meet my husband, Dom. He's not here. No, he's on his way over. I said that. Right, because I, I do really, really need to speak to him because I've just got a lot of questions for him. You don't look like him. Yeah, well, we're not twins. Can I see that picture again, please? Uh, I'm the better looking one, of course. Why don't you sit down? Um, right, OK, I'll sit down. So, what are all these questions? Um, I just, I've, I've got stuff. Um, because he, he was saying these things the other day. Um, so yeah, I'll just, I'll just wait here until he gets here. Yeah, well, it shouldn't be long. I'd, um, I'd put the kettle on, put the, uh, the leckies off, so. So I said, if you don't rub something into it, it's never going to come out. There's nothing worse, is there? I don't know. I could think of a few things. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, look, I am sorry, but you know that I was only looking out for you. We both said stuff we didn't mean to. Yeah, well, you're probably right. I'm rarely wrong. <laughs> Can I go out? Yeah, I suppose so. You're not really meant to be working today anyway. But listen, make sure you're back in time for your tea. Ta. OK. Thanks. Bye-bye. All better? I turned out nice again. Told you. Oh, it's so cute seeing you two back together. You all right, Bugsy? Yeah, great. Did you just call him Bugsy? Bugsy, yes. <clears throat> we have many pet names in our relationship. Bubsy, Mr. Bilster, Plopsy, don't ask. What do you call yours? Aiden. Excuse me. Can I two gin and tonics? Oh, thank you. You're right, Sarah. Listen, I've got your mate, Sarah. You'll get her back when I get a grand, all right? OK. Now, you've got two hours to get the cash together and then I'll be in touch to hand her over. Don't call the police. And nobody will get her. Why have you got my phone? Because I'm out of credit on mine. Can I have it back, please? No. You okay? What's up, babe? Uh, uh, Lee's in a, a bit of trouble. Do, do you mind if I go and see him? Of course not. I, I, I don't know how long I'll be. Um, but I'll, I'll see you later. I'm, I'm sorry about this, Sean. Okay. Hi. His brother is trouble. Is that brother? Oh, fancy you doing it? Need your help. Well, well, me. All right. All right. Where are you going? Cemetery. Come if you want. Cemetery? Yeah, well, Callum's grave. I'm thinking with less people about, I'll be able to say goodbye properly. I'll tell him what he meant to me. Does that sound aft? Be waiting a while though. Sunday service and a bus has just gone. Wait there. To old chums. Old chums. <coughs> really old chums. Hey, watch your language. <laughs> so, uh, do you still live in Weatherfield then? God, no. Got out as soon as we could. Live in a converted monastery 12 miles from Gatwick. 
Well, it's handy for when one of us needs to go abroad for work. I'm very big in stretch covers. I bet you are. And we just crack China. Anyway, less of me, your favourite subject. Tell me all about you. Apart from being the best kisser in year nine. These two used to go out, as you know. He probably did it for a bet. Well, we always used to say she'd mount to nothing this one, didn't we, Dom? Well... Pregnant by 16, on heroin at 20. Can't kids be cruel? Heroin? It's a type of drug dick. Steady on, Linz. Have you been on heroin? No, Kirky. So, you want to know about little old me, eh? Well, we've got his own penthouse apartment overlooking the Keys. Heart-shaped jacuzzi. Surround sound. Ooh, very posh. And what do you do for a living, Kirk? Ooh. Drug dealer? Packing. Packing? Mm. The Packing Centre <clears throat> is the French name. Pierre Packin. It's all about health and well-being. Kirk is um, a thingy, a uh, um, chiropractor. Oh, nice. Yes, I think I've heard of the Packing Centre. Of course you have. Yeah, I'm never out of that place. It's great for your posture. And what is it you specialise in? Specialise in? Well, uh, mm, All sorts, really. Uh, onions, verrucas. Quite a holistic approach, then. Oh, yeah. Dead holistic. Yeah, yeah. I love holistic stuff. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. No! Oh, no, I'm not having it, love. No, you need to listen to me. You already dare just say that. I don't care what rank you are, you're going to change your story. Or you might just live to regret it. You got that? Over and out. Give his hand for a second, mate. Yeah. Sure. Why well, don't you call the police? Oh, no, no, no. We keep Sarah away from the old bill. Look, I don't really think we should be having this conversation in front of the kids. What's going on? I'm so sorry about this, guys. Right, come on, we're going to go over here until we can find out what's going on. Come on. How do I get the feeling we're in ground on them? What did she suggest we do, eh, David? What, you must know where your brother is, Billy. I did. He said I'd know where he was, but I don't. <sighs> I've tried calling him back, but he's... Well, what, what, where's he live? But I found him three places. It's got to be one of those. Uh, why don't we split it? You two go and check them out, and I'll go about trying to raise some cash. Well, what are you going to do? Rob the collection plate from church? All right. All right. Thanks, David. Right. Todd, I've just texted an addresses. OK, just report back, yeah? All right. All right. Has something happened to Auntie Sarah? No, no, nothing. But she'll be all right. Yeah, of course. Kylie? You all right? Yeah, all good. You sure? Oh, take no notice of me, Freddy. Come on, kids. Hello, Sally Metcalf. How can I help you? Paul? From the council? Oh, hi, Paul. Yes, I'm very well, are you? What, today? Well, I don't see why not. Well, do you want to bob round in about an hour? Yeah, of course you can bring Helena. It'd be lovely to see you both. OK, see you in a bit. Bye. That was Paul. Newman? I'm pretty sure that he's been dead for quite a while, Yasmin, actually, so that's a pretty sick joke. No, it's Paul. He's a very, very dear friend of mine from the council, very top tier. Him and Helena, she's also on the council, they're going to bob round for a little sundowner. Oh, gosh, it's not like I'm really showing off. I'm not really. Showing off would imply that I was impressed. I am not, dear. Oh, do you know, you're a very unconvincing fibber, actually, Yasmin. It's quite sweet, actually. Right, well, I best bob to that new shop on Balaclava Terrace. I know that one, yeah. It makes smocks for the larger lady. No, the other one. I feel a new jacket coming on. Avoid anything too floaty. Gives the appearance of bingo wings. You need to calm down, love. Can I just have it back, please? I'll give it to her when he gets here. Are you sure he's coming? Just look at you. You're a bag of nerves. Can you blame me? Calm down, <sighs> yeah? just could be anybody. How many times I've told you I'm Billy's brother? You've seen the picture. We went to Butlins together. He threw up on the dodgems. My dad won the Nobel in knees. Just tell me the truth. All right. He came second. If you know Billy, has he ever mentioned Callum? 
What is with? Just answer the question. You want to know if I know Callum? Do you know him? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, I know Callum, the Logmeister. Who doesn't know him? Infamous, innit? Do you work for him? You were at his funeral, love. He isn't dead, is he? Is he? What? Is he dead? Why the confusion? I don't know, is there any confusion? <sighs> he isn't dead, is he? Oh, just tell me! Well, maybe he is, or maybe he isn't. Maybe Billy's with him now. Oh, does. Yeah. I reckon they'll both be on the way over now. <sighs> You want to go? <laughs> Cemetery, please. I hope my Billy's okay. Well, he's a vicar. He'll be fine, babes. Got a hotline to God. If that goes wrong, ain't it? That must be so handy when it comes parking. You seared it for like a minute on each side. Hello, ladies. Hi. 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 Pick it up. Oh, I love this health <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> Marie says you've been doing some overtime. Yeah, no rest for the wicked. <sighs> How's your uncle, Cass? So that's so in it, babe. I'm on planet pain, Lou. Do you know, if there was an emergency in this place now, I'd be neither use nor ornament. Mm. Which is a shame, because she's fully trained. Oh, <laughs> I'm fully trained. In what? Uh, hairdressing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? I don't know, I'm not psychic. Well, answer it. I'll just leave it. Don't be daft, it might be an emergency. Then I'd be neither use nor ornament. <laughs> oh. I'll take it outside. Um. Hi, just give us a sec. It's a bit secretive. Oh, yeah, it's a mystery lover. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I heard her before on the phone. She was really having a go at someone. Saying what? She was threatening them. Was she? Yeah, saying you better change your story. For what? Oh, no, she was probably just meaning, like, change the record or something. I say that all the time. Yeah. Well, she was probably messing around. Yeah. Cass isn't aggressive, is she? No. She's soft as Marge. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You're probably right. Mm. Ah, Tim! How are you? Yeah, not bad. I hear your new beer is the talk of the town. Is it? Yeah, we're all so excited. Anyway, it got me thinking, you should christen your new pub. What, I mean, we shed? Yeah. Yeah, get, get some pals round, crack up in a few kegs. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. And what better thing for a Sunday afternoon? I'll do a ring round and have you over, yes. Oh, well, I'm not much of a drinker, as you know, but I'll pop my head over the fence for sure. Anyway, don't worry about the noise. I want you to enjoy yourself. Yeah, I'll wire up some sounds. Good lad. Yeah. Oh, hey, Lins. Babes, been the ladies. Got you a pint. Oh, ta. Yeah, wine goes right through me. Lager, I can hold for days. I'm like a camel. Did you want one? Why are you lying to me? Let's drop it. I'm not. Your husband is in a chiropractor specialising in bunions. Hold the other one, Ben. It's got belts on. Well, at least you can get my name right now. Look, tell the truth. <sighs> OK, so it's not. It's in packing at the factory where I work. And, yeah, it might seem as daft as a brush, like I have to explain the plots of kids' films to him. And go on the toilet. But do you know what? I love the bones of him. Always have, always will. Each to their own. And he ain't daft. He's dead spiritual. Well, he's not spiritual per se but he's a decent person, and he's worth ten of all the Muppets hanging round here today. And yeah, that does include you. Cos you know what, Linz? We might not have your posh clothes, your designer handbags and your latest haircut, but at least we're happy. Go, girl. And that's something you can probably only dream of. Ah, I like your style. Mmm. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, you can't beat a bit of real ale. No, you certainly can't. You could be in a canal-side pub in Cheshire if I close my eyes. 
Not bad. Not bad? Not bad. Not bad? Mm. It's top of the range, is that, Devin? Yeah, I told you. <laughs> no, Sally? Oh, uh... Probably caught up in some vitally important council business, no doubt. Ever the martyr. Yes, I feel like a right naughty. What is it, Poppet? Well, when I asked you over before, I forgot it was Ramadan. Oh, don't be daft. I love to see people enjoying themselves. Now, I have a few spare deck chairs. Shall I pass them over? Yeah, that'd be wicked. And turn those sounds up. I'm double glazed throughout. <laughs> She's a top neighbour, is that yeah, one? Yeah, I'd yeah, like for some, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure Sally agrees, though. Plus, she's pretty easy on the eye. Oh. You behave yourself, you, Freddy. Oh, a boy can <laughs> dream. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to? Just being neighbourly, Sharif. Oh, really? How do you do it? How do you convince everybody that you're dead? I just don't get it. You what? It's like I went to his funeral the other day and... I knew. I knew. Oh, he's a clever man. He, he's scary, but he's clever. And, and Billy's in on it, and I have told him so much. I've told him too much, and then I'm there thinking, oh, what a nice man, and he's just laughing in my face. You're not scared of Callum, are you? And you're not? No. Because he's my mate. So you better do as I say. Why don't we call him? You two, you can have a little chin wag. Stupid bitch, duh! He's on his way over! No, no! No! Just stay! Just shut up and you won't get hurt! Why do I have to kidnap her mentally? Kylie! Kylie! Who the hell is Kylie? <laughs> <laughs> you really are off your chunk, aren't you? I'll never forget the first time I met you. What time do you think tea is? You'd rob that Audi from Rosa Parks Way. We went joyriding in it. And you crashed into the bollard and you said the bollard was to blame. You're probably right. You were a good driver. Richard said you were the best getaway driver this side of Withenshaw. Only had to cafe once my back for my tea. I don't know. Sorry. Well, do you know what, Callum? I hope you're robbing cars up in heaven, riding them around like a lunatic, blasting your tunes out in some souped-up motor, screeching your tyres in a UE and a Burn some rubber up there for me, baby, yeah? See you on the ice, kid. Alex, take me home. OK. Do you think I'll get a pack, um, parking ticket on a Sunday? Behave. And anyway, by law, you don't actually have to pay him. That ain't true. Well, shut up, Alex. I'm not in the mood. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Please. Please. I need to go. I can't see. Callum. Well, I don't want to hurt you. Well, just let me go then. But we just have to wait for Billy. Well, just stop lying to me. No, stop no, 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 just, just no. stay. Please, no. just, just stay. Just... No. Just stay here. Get off in your free. Yeah, well, she attacked me. Damn. Oh, what? Did you see it by choice, is she? We need to go. We need to go. Yeah, I know. That's kind of why I'm here. No, no, you don't understand. She's off her head, eh? Shut up, smackhead. Don't oh, I'll pick him. Callum's alive. He's coming for me. He's going to get me again. He's going to get both of us, David. He's going to... It does. It all makes sense. No, it doesn't. It makes no sense. Well, but I never saw you stick his body under the floor. Why? What is she on about? Just mind your own. Because you didn't. And then when they found his body, his body, yeah, right. Well, his body was so decomposed, they couldn't even identify it. Th they did identify it, Sarah, and just take no notice. It's like what you said, she's off her head. Yeah, well, she really has lost it, hasn't she? Because they went on dental records. And they've probably just paid somebody to do it because there's so many dodgy people about. 
and I'm looking right at one. And she's got some pills that she should be taking. Come on, Sarah, let's get out of here, all right? Calamie's not alive. He said it. Ask him. Yeah, it was a wind-up. Like, I'm going to believe that. Why is she still in here? You try getting her out. What? Todd, Callum's alive. Why would you listen to me? Todd, just get your hands off me, God Squad, yeah? Todd, let's just get her out of here, all right? And no police, do you hear? I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put anything past him. They're probably already on the way over, right? No, because no, then I'd have to admit to you being my brother. Oh, it's all about you. It always was. This is the end of the road, Lee. I never want to see you again. And I thought God was all about love. Yeah, he is. But I never said I was perfect. You made this so difficult, Lee. So difficult oh, for me. You listen to yourself. I want to love you. I try to love you. I don't you. want your love. So just leave. You're fine. You're laughing. Well, I am not laughing. No, 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 no because I won't be bothering you or any of your stupid mates again. Like you've just said, we're done. So get out. I said, get out! What time would you say tea time is? Well, I, I don't think there is any rigid set time. It's around about now. Well, I suppose somewhere in the country someone will be having their tea, but no, 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 it's, it's really too early for tea. I should be keeping a closer eye on him. Well, apart from installing some sort of tracking device about his person, it's not only possible. Well, that's a bit drastic, but... I, I wasn't really suggesting that as a serious option. Where is he, Roy? Here. <clears throat> all right. Where have you been? Uh, yeah, you're all out of breath. Out and about. Oh. Is that all right if I go up for a shower? Uh, yeah, well, I'll be putting the tea on soon. What are we having? Ravioli on toast. My favourite? Exactly. Table three. Uh, that reminds me, Roy, I think I might have left the ravioli in the boot of the car. Uh, well, I shall retrieve it later. So I was like, you don't need Botox, you just need to know a few tricks. Like, have you ever thought about having a fringe cut in? And then she was like... Are you even listening to me? Of course. So what did I just say? Um... What's up with you? Nothing. Nothing. Luke? What exactly do you know about Cassie's accent? What? Like, she says... Oh, you're not going all weird and all, are you, like, <sighs> Sophie? What's she been saying now? Nothing. Well, listen to this, right? Before she went to the pub. Who, Kaz? Yeah. Yeah. What? You heard her being rude to someone on the phone? Oh, I know what I heard. She was asking somebody to change the story, or telling them in no certain terms. Oh, Luke, she's a nice girl. Honestly. She even bought me that book for Liam that I was looking for. Really? Yeah. Found it in a charity shop or something. <laughs> That's a bit weird, isn't it? No, it's dead nice. Luke, she's sweet. Look at Kate. She's not weird, is she? She's not going to be going out with some compulsive liar. All right. A compulsive liar who actually does really nice things for me. <sighs> oh, so what? So she was a bit rude to someone on the phone. It don't make her the devil, does it? OK, maybe you're right. I know I'm right. Good. Glad that's sorted, cos I've invited them both over for Liam's birthday tea. Hey! Thought you'd be back hours ago. <clears throat> Just going to stand. Is she all right? Yeah, 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 she's fine. Where have you been? Nowhere. Is there something you're not telling me? What's happened now? Have you had a row? Yeah, yeah, I've had a bit of a row. And to be honest, we kind of need to be on a zone to sort it out. I mean, it's nothing major. Right. So, uh, I don't know if you want to go to the Rovers or something. Well, um... Oh, come on, treat yourself. A woman drinking alone in the Rovers is hardly lunch at the Caprice, is it? Well, you're never on your own in our local, are you? I have been worried about her. She's not been herself lately. Yeah, I know. Me too. Which is why I want to have this chat with her. Come on, I've got this. It's fine. Right, well, um, Harry's asleep. Kylie's taking the kids to the Red Rex, so... if you need a bit of space... Yeah, we do. I know when I'm not wanted. 
Oh, Mom, come on. You're always wanted. Just not now, eh? No, oh, kind of. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, so do I. Half an hour be OK? Let's make it an hour. Your wish is my command. He's dead. He's not. And that fella said... He's a junkie. Everything... It seems like a blur, and the past couple of months have just felt like a blur. All right, OK. Sarah, listen to me, all right? Everybody is convinced that Tony killed Callum. But he didn't, did he? Look, nothing you say, David, is going to change my mind. I didn't see what you did with Callum's body, which means he might not be dead. No, no, and if it's it's not... Sarah, listen to me, right? <laughs> I've, I've got no reason to lie to you, have I? I mean, why would I make out I'd done something that bad? I, I buried him underneath our mother's bedroom. Why would I make that up? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for this break all day. What's going on with Cass? That's a long call, isn't it? Oh, she might be on the phone with their um, welfare officer, I suppose. Ugh. Can you imagine having a job where you've got to answer to somebody called a welfare officer? I don't thinking about it. It's not that weird, either. Don't know. All right, Gail. Ah, here she is. Blimey, how long were you? Was it your welfare? Oh, it was a cold call. Not for that long. Then some old mate called me and I couldn't get off the phone, you know, one of them. Yeah, I know what you mean. My Auntie Angela is exactly the same. She will not take by for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Everything OK, though? Yeah, sure. Why shouldn't it be? I'm just glad it wasn't the MOD. I'm not ready to see you go back to set push just yet. But why would she think that Callum's still alive? Cause. And God knows why Billy's brother made out he was. Why on earth would he do that? I don't know. Unless she was imagining that, which I won't put it past her. Anyway, cheer me up. Tell me about your lunch. <laughs> we just got some sandwiches and went to the Red Wreck in the end. So is she all right? Where was she? David, come on, I'm not in the mood for 20 questions. I told you, she was at that Lee's flat. Look, will you just tell me what's going on? Is she not all right, then? When was the last time she was all right? Did he... Did he touch her? No. No, nothing like that. But she thinks Callum's still alive. It's just... such a shock. You know, I've... seen her like that, and it's... It's like we've lost her. But you can't say anything, you can't... Tell her that Callum's dead, or she's not having any of it. But that's mad. Yeah, that's what worries me. Cheer up, son. It might never happen. Or has your mum just died? Hey. No. Well, he said that to a mate of mine once. His mum actually had just died. Shame of it. Oh. <laughs> I, I say, how, how, how did your uh, reunion go? So, so. Huh? Actually, it could have gone better. Actually, no. We were pants. I hated every minute of it. See, what did I say? I oh, know. That reuniting with folk you haven't seen for years never goes well. You're a wise man, Norris. I see it now. Oh, yeah, well, I'm not going to argue with that. Are you, are you all right? Dad? I'm just daft as a push, mate. <laughs> you all right, Gail? 
you know, I don't think I've been right since about 1983. <laughs> Kids, they don't half make you worry. Well, happen you should cheer yourself up by having a bag of crisps. My shout. Ah, oh, oh, that's sweet of you, Sean. Um, now, am I in the mood for prawn cocktail? I don't know, girl, are you? Uh, no, think I'd better play it safe. I'll have cheese and onion. Coming up. Listen, don't be soft, mate. No one can blame you for what happened. <sighs> Just can't help thinking that somewhere on the way I've let him down and... That's why he's ended up like this. Oh, come on, that's rubbish. You're amazing. I'm useless. As a human being and a vicar. No. No, you're not. You're brilliant. Now, come on, right. Take a deep breath. And slap a smile on your face for Sean, all right? The love of your life. I think that's the right money. Uh, I said it was my treat, and it is. I just want to see a little smile on your cheeky little chops. How was it? Not great. I'll tell you about it later. Did Todd go with you? It, no. Was it awful? Is it really messing with your head? Well, we had words, shall we say. I don't think I'll be hearing from him in a hurry. Come here, sausage. from the meeting the other day. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Councillor's work never stops. Oh, Sally, I adore that blouse on. My, oh, oh, my blouse on. Ah, oh, yeah, I've had it for years. You're a bit early. Shall we bob inside? I am pretty unshockable, believe you me. Oh, I think you proved that, love. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep my eye on you, I can see that. Timothy, what is going on? Impromptu party, Sal. Fun, isn't it? What Who's the? Your mates? Uh, Timothy, how could you? Are you gonna introduce us? This is uh, Paul and Helena, and they're from the council. Oh, we're gonna have to watch our P's and Q's now, aren't we? And our Q's and P's. Here you are. Get them down your grids. Oh, look, it's Ken. His late wife was a big noise on the planning. Yeah, yeah, she certainly was. Try the beer, Sally. It's fantastic. Mm. Paul, Helena, I am so sorry about this. Look, should we retire to the bistro down the road? It's just that Timothy does a lot of charity work for underprivileged, and I'd forgotten that he was this doing... This beer's top. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't uh. it? Oh, well, he's very philanthropic. We make a good team. I didn't know you were a party animal, Sally. Oh, believe me, I'm not. It's all boring. Me and Paul used to go raving in our youth. Cream, hacienda, anywhere with 300 beats per minute, four to the floor, we were there, weren't we, Helena? Oh, those were the days. <laughs> well, I'm not against clubs, per se. It's just that you'd hardly see me with a bottle of water in one hand and a whistle and a, and a smiley face on a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sal. You guys want a seat? A seat? We need a dance floor. We've got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Yasmin? Can't bear to see people enjoying themselves. What? Hello, um... Uh, Sophie. Yeah. They say women are bad parkers. <laughs> David, she needs to see a doctor. What? I want what's best for her. Of course I do. 
But... Well, it's impossible, isn't it? I mean, for her, for us. Forget about us. She needs to get better. Yeah, I know, I know. And it's selfish. It's just... I'm trying to protect all of us here. David, you can't pretend that she's not sick. But what happens when a psychiatrist starts poking around in her head? What if she tells them what we did to Callum? It's a big case for Vera next. Then tomorrow it's England's last group game. Roy's men have one eye on a place in the final 16, but also on Wales. It's going to affect the placings in Group B, of course. England take on Slovakia live at 7.15 here on ITV, while Wales face Russia at the same time on ITV4 tomorrow.